okay, 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 I, I have done it. I have done it, I have figured it out after way too long, way too long of dealing with multiple switches, multiple people trying to play the same game. I finally figured out the best, the best two ways to share games on the Nintendo Switch. I know I've made a video about this already. I know we've already talked about this. We've done this, I think it was about six months ago, but those were, at the time, those were good ideas. Those were ways that we could definitely share games. And, and some of the ones we're gonna talk about today are sort of, sort of some of those just refined a little bit. They're, they're a little bit better. They're gonna, they're gonna make it a lot easier for multiple people, you know, more than two to play one set of games. And there's another way, if you only have two people, if you only have two, there's almost a perfect way. Again, just like the other ones, just like the other ones, it, <laughs> None of these are perfect. There's just not a perfect way to share games on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo doesn't want us to do it. They want us to be buying five copies of Mario Kart for our kids. They want, they, that's what they want us to do. We're not gonna do it though. We figured it out. We're gonna talk about it right now. But while we do that, I, I speaking of my kids, I need to clean their Switches. I don't know if you can see the uh, the screens here, but they they are dirty. If you've got kids, and you need to clean their Nintendo Switch systems. You need to get these Zeiss wipes. You can get these a lot of places. I'll leave a link to these down below. If I can find them on Amazon, I'll do it there because I can uh, make a affiliate link for that, which does help me out. But if not, I'll find them uh, somewhere. But if you, if you don't know what these are, these things are amazing. I've been using these things for years for my camera lenses, sunglasses, phones, whatever, but they're great. I'll link those below. But let's go ahead and get into this what you need to know about game sharing on the Nintendo Switch. There's seriously like macaroni stuck to this thing. This is, this is gross. Right, we'll come back to that in a second. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. Do me a favor, jump down in the description of this video. There's gonna be a bunch of links there. You can find the podcast link there. We got a channel, we do a podcast, me and Jeep, it's great. Every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, you definitely wanna check that out. You can become a member of this channel. We have a private Discord room. We're doing all kinds of fun stuff in there. There's gonna be some other stuff coming soon. There's links to a lot of stuff down there. You're gonna find your wipes link down there, so you're gonna have to go down there anyway. You might as well check out the other stuff, but let's get on with this. We are gonna start, we're gonna start with the way to do this if you have two Nintendo Switches. Now, I've got another way if you have more than two, but this is what Jeeb does at his house. Him and Mrs. Jeeb do this and it works for them very well. And I think this is probably the best way to do it. Now, I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff on screen because I know the last video wasn't, uh, wasn't the most clear as far as how to do this stuff. I know I got a lot of comments uh, that that was the most confusing thing that, that you've ever watched and I'm sorry for that. I do apologize for that. But I'm gonna make it a lot more clear this time. Ooh, there are some scratches on this one. Ooh, ooh. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you to do that one first. Now, I'm gonna have these two switches. This is how I'm going to explain this. I have two Nintendo Switches here, okay? This is gonna be Mrs. Jeeb's Switch. This is gonna be Jeeb's Switch, okay? That's how we're gonna explain this. Mrs. Jeeb, Jeeb. All right, now this one is very easy and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this if you don't know how. But what you wanna do is, let's say Jeeb, is buying all of the games on his Nintendo Switch account, right? So that means on this Switch here, Jeeb's buying all the games on his account, but he has done something that is going to make him be able to play all those games also on this Switch. And now remember, this is not his Switch. This is Mrs. Jeeb's Switch. So what Jeeb is gonna do, he's gonna take this Switch right here, his Switch, he's gonna go into the eShop, into the menu, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right after this. But what he is going to do, he's going to deregister his account as the primary account. So he will no longer be the primary account on this Switch. Now, what Mrs. Jeeb is going to do is she will do the same exact thing on her Switch. So now neither one of them are the primary account on either one of these Switches. But what happens is, the first time you go to the eShop, when you go to the eShop for the first time when you've deregistered your Switch, that Switch, whatever you do it on, whether it's this one or this one, if you get into the eShop with your Nintendo account, that is now your primary Switch. So, Jeeb is going to go over to Mrs. Jeeb's Switch and he is going to put his Nintendo account on this switch. Again, I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in just a second, but that's what he's gonna do. So he is now the primary on Mrs. Jeeb's switch. Now Mrs. Jeeb is going to take Jeeb's switch. She will put her Nintendo account on this 
go to the eShop. Now, this is her primary switch. Now, this way, when these two switches start to check and see who can play what, Jeeb can play on his switch. He's gonna be able to play all his games here on this switch. Abby's gonna be able to play all her games on this switch, but now that they've switched the primary roles, they can both play each other's games. Now, no matter who's buying games, you get to share all of them. That is probably going to be the best way to share games. There is one problem, it's not huge, but there is one problem. The problem you're going to run into is when you leave home and you're not on Wi-Fi, it's going to try to check you know, the internet to see if you're allowed to play the game. The way you fix that is, I mean, everybody's got a cell phone, you turn on your mobile hotspot, connect your switch to your phone, it only has to be connected for a second, it'll check, you're good, you're done. Now, I am going to show you guys how to set this all up right now. We're gonna have a nice little, little cutscene for you here. You guys are gonna learn some stuff and then uh, come back and then we'll learn the other way. If you have more, more than two people, this is the way. I don't think it's quite as good as that, but uh, it's definitely gonna help. All right, we're gonna make this short and sweet here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the eShop. We'll sign in as ourself. I'm not going to actually do this because I don't want to deregister my switch, but I'm gonna show you where it's at. Uh, I'm gonna have to blur some of this out so you guys don't steal my information. Dirty dogs, you. All right, so you're gonna go over here. And you're gonna go on this right here all the way down here to the bottom. And you're gonna see this right here. It says this console is registered as your primary console. Now, if you press this button, it will deregister as the primary console. Now, what you're gonna do is do this on both Nintendo Switches. You're going to exchange Nintendo Switches and do it on the other person's Switch with your account. So you go back to your account, which I'm gonna show you how to put on their Switch in just a second, and you do it like that. All right, now, to add your account, you want to go to System Settings. Then you are gonna come down here to users you're gonna go down you are going to add a user and you're gonna close mario kart 8. now right here you're gonna be able to import user data from another console if you still have the console you're gonna hit yes just follow the prompts it will get you there this is very very easy you sign in you're on there go to the eShop, do what i just showed you and then you guys are sharing games and that is it all right you got all that are you good if you have two switches that's the way to do it. Now, if you've got more than two switches like I do, this is what I've been doing in my house because you guys know, three kids, two of them like to play the Switch, I like to play the Switch, they all like to play basically the same games, but the problem is, if one of them is playing a game on my account, no one else can play, but we figured we figured this out. Now this, this is not going to be, this is not the best way to do this, but if you have kids, I think this is passable and I think it's okay. Now there are several things you need to do to keep your account and your saves safe. You have to remember, everyone is going to be playing on your account. This, this method just takes your account. They can have their own accounts. You know, if there's other games and stuff, you know, they're playing Fortnite, this and that, they can do that on their own account. Like you can make them accounts, but if they're gonna play your games, you need to make sure that they're playing on your account. That's the only way this is gonna work. But before you do that, what you are gonna do, you are gonna go down into the settings. You are going to go to the cloud save section on their switch. So we're talking about this switch right here. Let's say this is your child's switch. You're gonna go on this switch. You're gonna put your account on this switch. That way, when you download the games, they can be played on your account. They won't be able to be played on their accounts, but your account, good to go. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the menu you wanna go down to the cloud saves, you wanna go over and you want to turn cloud saves off. Now I said this in the last video, but I did not realize this. What you can do, you can actually turn cloud saves off for just your account. I did not realize you could do this, but this is how I do it. I turn them off for my account. So my daughter, one of them is on my Nintendo account. So she has her cloud saves for her games. For the games that are hers, the ones that she only plays, She's got those cloud saves. The rest of it is backed up only on the Switch. Now I know for some people that's not gonna be okay, that's not gonna be something you really wanna do, but for kids, cloud saves really just aren't that big of a deal. It's gonna be okay. They don't really need them that bad. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna turn your cloud saves off. That way when you go back to your Switch and you're playing Mario Kart, 
it doesn't overwrite what happened here in the cloud on your Switch. Or if they're playing Breath of the Wild and you know your 400 hour game is over here, so it's not gone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Now again, they aren't gonna have cloud saves. This is, this is a little bit of an issue, but I don't think, I, I really don't think it's that big of an issue to the kids. If it is, you're gonna have to find another way. Now, once you've got that done, this is, this is basically pretty easy and it is definitely something I overlooked and I think I saw it in the comments of the last video and I was like, there's no way that works. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that that works, but it works. Now what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you how to do this as I do it on this Switch. Let's say we wanna play Mario Kart. So we'll go over to Mario Kart here and it'll say start software. Now nobody else is playing a Switch right now. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let it start the software, we're gonna go to my account right there, Drip Media, it's gonna check and see if it can be played. Now, here's what you do, you're in. This is not gonna be checked anymore, not for a long time. All right, so from here, what you're gonna wanna do is hold down the home button, you're gonna see a menu pop up. Right on the bottom of that menu, you're gonna see airplane mode, right there. All you gotta do is turn on airplane mode. Now, what you're gonna do now is that, that kid's good to go. So if they wanna play Mario Kart, they can play Mario Kart, not a problem. They're offline basically right now. So you can take the other Switch, we'll just use this one as an example here. Now, they're playing Mario Kart on my account right there on this Switch. Now we can also do the same thing. Where is Mario Kart? Where are you, where, okay, there it is. Mario Kart is right here. It wants to update, we're not updating. Start software. Now, this one, as you can see, is playing Mario Kart. Hit my account. This one's playing Mario Kart on my account. So now when this one turns on, you will see I'm playing Mario Kart again on this. And we're playing this from one copy. I only bought this game one time. Mario, come on, man. Come on. Now I'm gonna show you again. You stay right here. I'm gonna show you again. We've got two, two switches. Hang on. We've got two switches playing Mario Kart from my account. We're gonna do it again. Ooh, battery's low. Battery's low. All right, so we're gonna do it again. We got another switch, but we can't forget. We have to hit the button here. Turn it on airplane mode. Now we're gone. We're gone from sight. We're gone from the internet. So here again, we're gonna go to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We're gonna go to Drip Media. It's gonna check and see if we can play this. It's checked. As you can see, we are playing Mario Kart on a third switch. And now you can do the same thing. Let's say you've got another one or another one. You can do the same thing. Airplane mode. It's that easy, it's one button, it takes no time at all. My kids don't have a problem doing it. That was the biggest thing. I actually told Jeeb about this and Jeeb was like, your kids aren't gonna wanna do all that. They're not gonna wanna do all that. They had no problem with it. It's very easy, it's right there in the menu. You hold the button, touch it, press the button again, you're playing. Not a lot to do, it's pretty easy. These are the two ways I, I think are the best for game sharing right now. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any better solution out there. If you've got one, as I said in the last video, Leave it in the comments below, I wanna hear about it because I, as far as I know, this is it. But that is gonna do it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, make sure you are subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one.